friends. I'm missing some blanks. Vegetable oil. Water. And an egg. Let's start. We're going to need one fourth cup of water. Here's it. So there it is. Um, oh, I forgot to add the brownie mix. <laughs> So that's fine too. Um, so I'm gonna start. I already added in my water because I forgot the brownie mix. But yeah, so you should. I would add in the brownie mix first. Um, I just forgot. <laughs> so here goes nothing. We open the brownie mix and then dump that into our bowl. Now, right now, after the brownie mix, you normally add water. I forgot to add my water. I mean, forgot to add my brownie mix, so I just... So I have some water and brownie mix in here. So there's that. And then I'm also going to need one third cup of vegetable oil. So we'll fill it up to... About right here on this one, one third. So, one third of vegetable oil. Fill it up. That's good. Okay, so now let's pour it in. Okay. Now it's time for the egg. I'm not very good at the egg, so. Yeah. Okay, time for the egg part. My hands, my hands are all eggs yolky. Okay, add the egg in there. Now, no taste test. You can't eat raw egg. Okay, so now I'm going to give this a good stir. into the pan. We're just going to spread it out. Okay, so now the brownies are good. Um, I spread them, the batter out evenly. And so now um, we're going to put them in the oven that earlier we heated at 350 so um, um you can ask an adult for help for this okay guys so now it's time to take them out of the oven there's a big bubble on the top <laughs> So now it's time. They're all cooled off and out of the oven. I'd say they took about 30 minutes to cool. So now we're just going to, it, the brownie mix actually came with frosting. 
So you can have whatever frosting you want. But the brownie mix actually came with some chocolate frosting. So we're just going to put that on. And then we're going to spread it with this. So... frosted brownies so now we're gonna cut them and then well from my teacher um we're kind of being homeschooled right now because of the coronavirus um so my teacher gave us a math problem that said it's basically if you had two brownies and you had to split the two brownies from eight people so i'm gonna show my work by cutting the brownies. So first, Mom's going to cut the brownies for me. Okay, so what I think you should do is um, we should get it Back. for the, the show your work part. Mm -hmm. We should put two brownies on this. Um, and then you could show how to divide them up okay. to, eight, okay. four, to eight people. So I was thinking kind of big brownies since okay. we're doing this like that maybe okay <laughs> how's that going for you <laughs> fine why aren't you doing this <laughs> i didn't know you were gonna record well, of course i can record i record everything Okay, so we have two brownies for the math problem. So here we have two brownies. Now, it says on the worksheet for my teacher, how could eight people share two brownies? Show your work and explain. So, we're basically going to do, we're going to divide these brownies into eight pieces. So, that would mean we would have four quarters of brownie. Um, so if, so we have eight people going to share two brownies, so each of them would get a quarter of the brownie. One fourth of it. Let's see if I can cut these guys. So, so here, my mom did some work to show you guys. So, if you had 2 divided by 8 equals 1 divided by 4. That's because 2 goes into itself. Like, there's 2 1 brownies. 2 1 brownies. And there's 8 fours. So, um, there's... There was two brownies. If you see here, on this plate, this was a brownie, a really big brownie, that, and these were a really big brownie. So if you look, there are two, two one brownies, and there's eight fours. Does that make sense? Because there's two brownies and eight-fourths of the brownies. So, now that I did my math, I think I'll have a little snack. <laughs> So if my dad was one of the eight people, then he would have to have a whole brownie and then the rest would just split the other 